Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to know and learn what is chart GPT. Yes, this is a word is a very very trending word nowadays in the IT and IT relevant industries. So this is a great artificial intelligence open AI tool to making you master in any of your required skill. Let's see now. Go to Google and simply hit chart GPT and let's see the first link openai.com. This is the blog and chart GPT link is following here. It's an optimizing language model for dialogue for creating a required conversational way. How you will ask your friend to a question or your instructor or your super senior or forums yes more accurately this is giving you a, such a information at single place the capability of chart gpt is uh, giving you in a vast information for developers as well as we understand yes this will help greatly who are start learning the things which uh, help of this tool adding to their career as a part of uh, collecting an information. So the chart GPT is a chatbot launched by OpenAI November 2022. It's a built on top OpenAI's GPT-3 family. The language model and fine-tuned. If any errors or corrections, yes, it's a fine-tuned. And the both supervised and reinforcement of learning techniques are added, which neural networks are collecting and information various vast resource libraries. And it's giving you a ready-made information which is a no copyright. So using this chart GPT, you just explore it with this course. We are going to train you much better you to master in your Python skills in very less time. The skills and this course will help you to make you master in a few hours only. So let's see here by clicking this link chart GPT optimizing language model for dialogue. So the, how the conversation will go, the same way you need to ask chat GPT to collect your required information. So whenever you comfortable, you are having enough time, you just go through the samples and all these links. So I'll show you in the next lecture how to set up your free account. You need not to pay a single rupee or single dollar for this. Absolutely free to use. So try chart GPT option we have to choose here and uh, creating these options will teach you in the next lecture. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to set up account with chart GPT. Yes, it's absolutely super easy technique to creating a free account. So go to google and hit chart gpt in the first link you just click on open ai website so the even if you want to get directly this link you just go through openai.com oblique blog forward slash and chart gpt hit enter to get this page here you may observe try chart gpt yes when you click here you will see this window welcome to chart gpt Login with your OpenAI account to continue. If you are already have an account with ChatGPT, you just log in by pressing the login button to use your credentials, username and password to enter over here. Or else you have to go over here to sign up option you need to choose. Here I'll tell you a simple technique to create your easy account. Yes, if you are having continue with like a Google account, or Microsoft account anyone 
yes directly you can click here and enter the google or microsoft account credentials to access this chart gpt account yes you need not to pay for it and uh, it's absolutely free for registration is open and free for membership now once you logged in only you can able to access chart gpt ai tool to conversation can be utilized and uh, initialized now see if you are not having like a google or microsoft account yes there is a no to phone verification is required for sign up if any other accounts okay so i have already signed up with a google account so what i am trying to doing continue with the google and here i am providing my google account which is added to login and access this chart gpt open ai tool see when i click this hurry like uh, the my account see now once it is a uh, access directly so using how super easy option you want to choose accordingly your requirement and uh, user like by entering of your username and password or using with this microsoft or google account to enter inside the chart gpt login area once you logged in here it will comes this uh, the this window like a chart.openai.com forward slash chart will be displayed to you here this is the page see the cursor he is a uh, blinking here we need to we need to ask a questions need to ask questions here to start like uh, here it is the right side you may see the mouse icon how we can chat with the whatsapp or sending a message to the friends the same way you need to send a message to the chat gpt ai tool yes based on your query it will understand and uh, it won't take much time it will start giving you the information i am really exciting to teach you this lecture even we we'll learn completely help by taking the help with the chat gpt only especially for this course i hope it's a super easy and uh, you will be ready with creating your super exciting chat gpt account and continue the session thank you hello everyone welcome back in this particular lecture you will be known what is and uh, how the chat gpt login area the dashboard we can say in few terms so what the area it is and where we can ask a questions and how to use this options to get very like uh, having a less time to making master in this chat gpt tool so let's see here every question like whenever we are asking in the left side there is a new chart if you want to ask a new question you need to initiate this button and uh, whenever you want to ask the questions you need to type here okay so this is uh, here we need to type uh, like q u e s t i o n questions here we need to type like uh, i'll show you i'll like, i'll show you very few examples very clearly you to understand before going to exciting see few options we'll see light mode here open ai discard here or like uh, updates and faqs if you are having any more doubts or any clarifications of uh, frequently asked questions in chat gpt yes you can go through see the option and uh, whenever you are not using chat gpt go for log out and uh, secure your chat gpt ai artificial intelligence tool account secure now come to the game so here examples you may see explain quantum computing in simple terms this is the query you assume it if you type the same query here you will get the response very spontaneously yeah i i would like to share you more views on chat gpt also nowadays it is a trending and most of the users are trying to getting their query resolutions so the chat gpt servers are also getting slightly very slightly slow response okay yeah the team is working on it and they are trying to improving the hardware and accelerations of the server productivity to getting as like a, a more uh, information as accurately all right now 
see god like uh, got any creative ideas for 10 years of world birthday like uh, birthday uh, celebrations and how do i make a http request in javascript and how do i make a http api web api in python or any c sharp any question you may ask and you may be wonder you may be wonder on it so let me a simple question i'll try to ask to the chat gpt okay so you may also ask what is chat gpt yes no one instructor is not required whenever the learners to be always think that they need to make the like a like a real robo and a real artificial intelligence such a person needed at workplace so the work area if he needs to ask any questions to the any other why don't you try to use chat gpt so let me ask a question to this particular chat gpt like uh, what is the question yeah simple program i will ask like uh, write a write a uh, calculator program in python we have to specify which language to prepare this program otherwise it will ask you like uh, in uh, in terms of like uh, what is the calculator and how the preparation the question whenever you are asking to this chat gpt ai tool to be a little bit clear so if you know how to ask a question definitely a proper way you will get a response so write a calculator program in python just i am asking chat gpt let me i have sent wow it is started here is a simple python calculator program that can perform basic arithmetic operations what you need more than this so let's see i'm not making any wonder here just i'm giving you an idea to implement yourself and know the more logics in less time in less time so see the program is a def it's nothing but function creation a keyword and the name of the function it is a prepared like taking two inputs and uh, if else conditions it is prepared if uh, like a minus operator what the user is a uh, chosen according to the operations here it is given no the operations it will be and uh, invalid operator if it is not other than this characters and this copy you can code and run the code in your code editor you will be wonder yes this course you will be wondered we will i'll first uh, i how i designed this course is i'll give you like a basics what you know and understand then you explore more programs how as many and create your own projects as many okay so practice all the basic things if you practice perfect then you will be master in python very less days I'll catch you in the next lecture. What chat GPT for day-to-day -day activities it will do. See you in the next one. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome here. In this lecture, I would like to show you like a uh, in chat GPT not only the programming in our day-to-day -day tasks. or in our job profession the requirement of needing of some of the information other than coding is it possibly we can get using chat gpt yes i am also wonder about this so let me write a few things like uh, prepare a simple a prepare a like a resume for one year experience in python that's it or web developer or javascript developer you can specify a few keywords let's see what happens you want to basic like a beginner yes you can ask chat gpt here is a sample resume person one year experience how the draft to be prepared for a resume see your name your address phone number you have to specify like a taking of any of your microsoft or any word document editor which is uh, you are having in your computer system to take this and correct it as your data 
as i mentioned as a software developer company name you have to mention it calculate like a location and a date range what the at, at period of when it you are worked designation and deploying scalable efficient software applications and education what is the university where you have did it any certifications if you are having you can put it any references you can put on the like on references what you need more what you need more than this for your activities so in my mind this is one and another one i'll uh, i'll i want to submit some article to any of uh, some some topic maybe so see uh, write or suggest or explain any keyword you may use uh, write an article f- uh, um, like um, for python in in 1000 words 1000 words 500 words as you were wish let let me i have asked the chat gpt to explain it something see python is a general programming language that widely used for web development scientific computing data analysis artificial intelligence and many other applications since its creation of 1980s kudo van rusum is a creator of python python has an a growing popular programming language and most of the other than most of the programming languages in the world python is known as a simplicity reliability and versatility the language syntax is a straight forward how we can create an english language in the same way the beginner can understand and write the programs very easily the python syntax is also it's a really to be understand as a beginners to be a, like a write very quickly in less time and it's also purely supports like procedural as well as the object oriented and functional programming techniques making a versatile language is a variety of programming tasks which are added in python once the key features of the python is a like a vast collection of libraries and frameworks yes libraries really helps a lot to making your functionality or any of the functionality to you need to add into your program or project it's a super easy so go over here in this way this is a article it is prepared what i am trying to explaining you and feel comfortable and take such articles in your notes and go through the step by step like what python can do and what if you are having any other question and uh, explain an article or write an article for data science in 1000 words or 500 words you will get it all you need a computer system which is internet connected and uh, watching this video lectures as well as to interact with uh, this ai tool i hope you will be more energetic to continue this course i think so in the next lecture we'll explain you like a section on words how to install and get and install python uh, software free and pycharm for uh, writing and practicing your uh, python codes and uh, how to initiate these things will be continue in the next lecture on words from the next section i'll see you there thank you Hello everyone welcome here in this lecture you are going to learn how to create javascript basic program using html and dom objects yes super easily using chat gpt to create these programs let's see open chat gpt and simply hit write a basic javascript program using html and dom now chat gpt is created a great program to interact with html dom objects let's see here it's in a documentation of uh, html declaration and html page is created along with the ids and script program is created and document.body.append child paragraph is also given here let's see and how super easily this example will works 
H1 is a heading, hello world, the javascript is embedded with the script tags. See what the script tag is initiated from here to open tag and this is an end tag. Inside the body of HTML it is written. Yes, either here or inside the head like a this head tag also we can write the javascript all we have explained in one by one step by step process of javascript where to mention why to specify this script code like as an in inline internal or external javascript which is convenient you to prepare your script code you way and making a great performance of your apps or applications you just write it and here javascript is like uh, embedded with the dom objects how super easily it is explained like the javascript code first retrieves the dom objects using get element by id which is an id of this particular element like uh, you see this is the html element of h1 tag and here it is a specified id it's an id which we can access inside this particular script using get element by id it's in a case sensitive how it is written here it's a standard reserved keyword to accessing html elements by id if it is specified so we are using document that get element by id this heading it's nothing but the id name and you want to assign this text data how heading dot this is a variable and dot text content hello javascript it is adding the like uh, modifying the text which is already here and create a new paragraph for this simply document dot create element of p tag what is this p tag simply we are creating an element see this uh, like a variable constant variable dot context dot context it's a reserved keyword to assigning or add like appending some text to this particular paragraph. This is a dynamically created paragraph. Document.body.append child paragraph. This is a paragraph. It's a append child is nothing but automatically it is going to be adding. This is also built in method inside the JavaScript. How this, the same what it is explained here for chat GPT to you to make a master in less time. So let's see these all are you require in real world concepts. Take a copy of this code, go to Sublime Text Editor and just try to create a new file and save it as like uh, HTML DOM dot HTML. File extension is HTML you have to use. So take a copy of this code what the chart GPT is created for us take a copy of this code and paste into your created new HTML file. So this you have to save it perfectly and right click open in browser I'm not written any line of code see hello JavaScript this is a dynamically created paragraph. So these things how it is displaying here in the HTML along with the JavaScript code. Let's see here come back to our code. See hello world in the heading h1 tag it is there hello world whereas we are able to seeing hello JavaScript. So hello JavaScript developer I am making customization of this code. See now save this go to the browser reload see hello javascript developer how it is a dom object is a manipulating see by default html element is written by hello world it is making with the change of this heading we are getting this object into the inside the variable and we are doing manipulation means our customization we are doing what is our requirement using this particular chart GPT it's a super easily without any doubt if you learn basics perfectly what is a constant variable what is a let variable variable like a var variable how we can use and how to call these DOM like a, this HTML elements as a DOM objects inside the JavaScript see getting the heading element from the DOM now this heading element how we are getting document dot get element by id why it is a id so get element by id with the name of the id to get the data and to getting the element information here and we can do the 
corrections or manipulations and play so one by one you learn all the things basics perfectly and play using chat gpt of your javascript journey i hope it's a very super easy lecture in front you will be learn basics very quickly and adding a lectures with chat gpt you will enjoy more i hope catch you in the next lecture thank you